It's 7.30 a.m. You've just gotten onto the freeway. Coffee in hand, a podcast playing. Suddenly your car begins to shake. You look to the right and the left, and the other cars around you are shaking. A sound like a bomb exploding rips across you, and you begin to fall 30 feet down into eternal blackness. There is a ticking time bomb nestled beneath the Pacific Northwest, capable of unleashing the worst earthquake in U.S. history. Why is this part of the country so unstable? What are the potential threats the area poses with an earthquake this size? And when could the craziest, most terrifying part happen? Buckle up. Cascadian subduction zone stretches from Northern California to Southern British Columbia, where the Juan de Fuca tectonic plate is slowly sliding beneath the North American plate. But make no mistake, this seemingly tranquil region holds the potential for unimaginable destruction. When the inevitable big one strikes, experts predict it will surpass the devastation caused by the San Francisco earthquake of 1906 or even the infamous 2011 Tohoku earthquake in Japan. Skyscrapers swaying like trees in a violent storm, bridges buckling and collapsing into the churning waters below, and entire communities swallowed whole by massive tsunamis. The last earthquake that occurred in this fall was on January 26, 1700, with an estimated 9.0 magnitude. This earthquake caused the coastline to drop several feet and a tsunami to form and crash into the land. Evidence for this great earthquake came from Japan. Japanese historical records indicate that a destructive, distantly produced tsunami struck their coast on January 26, 1700. The magnitude of any future Cascadian earthquake could be 9.0 or higher, with the potential to rupture over 600 miles of fault line and a resulting tsunami of up to 100 feet in height that will devastate coastal areas. There would be an estimated five to seven minutes of shaking or rolling that will be felt along the coastline. To put this in perspective, the earthquake in San Francisco that happened during the World Series in 1989 and caused immense destruction only lasted 20 seconds. Panic is the right word. It was the most terrifying moment any of us have ever spent in our lives. It only lasted but a few moments. But the longest known earthquake on record was in Indonesia on the island of Sumatra in 2004, when a 9.3 occurred, releasing as much energy as a 100 gigaton bomb. The quake was felt around the world. A quarter of a million people perished or went missing in the tsunami that followed. Not only was it one of the strongest earthquakes recorded since the invention of the seismograph, but it was one of the longest at 10 minutes of shaking. There are multiple types of earthquakes, but a megathrust is conceivably the worst, especially in populated areas. How might this all begin? It's a serene morning on the Pacific Northwest coast, when suddenly the earth begins to shake violently and uncontrollably with unimaginable force. In Oregon, Northern California, Washington, and Canada, the ground ruptures in an upward thrust, annihilating anything in its path as the Cascadia subduction zone unleashes its fury. Skyscrapers sway like trees in a storm bending until they break, as glass and debris come raining down on the streets below. Highways buckle and twist as the ground literally thrusts up, leaving gaping holes that swallow entire blocks, buildings and all. Along the coast, towering walls of water rise from the ocean, obliterating everything in their path. Entire towns are swallowed by the churning waves, leaving behind a trail of devastation and despair. As fires rage unchecked and emergency services are overwhelmed, survivors are left to fend for themselves in a landscape torn apart by chaos and destruction. The shaking, the uplift, the devastation continues for 10 incomprehensible minutes. It feels like the end of the world. And finally, when the shaking stops, nothing left. And here's the chilling reality. This catastrophic event is long overdue. Because when it comes to the Cascadia subduction zone, the question isn't if, but when the Earth's fury will be unleashed. Geological records show that major earthquakes along the Cascadian subduction zone repeatedly occur 
roughly every 300 to 500 years, and the last one was 320 years ago. Currently, scientists are predicting that there is a 37% chance that a megathrust earthquake of 7.1 magnitude or greater in this fault zone will occur in the next 50 years, and the consequences could be dire.